Welcome to CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use the blueprint in Zoho CRM. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system, of course you'll come to the home screen. Now from here you want to go to the cog in the top right hand corner, but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So we'll press the cog and then from here we want to go to process management and then to blueprint. Now, as you can see here, we've got two blueprints already. Now, these are pre-generated by Zoho CRM, and they can actually be quite useful, so feel free to amend those as you so wish. I'm going to use this lead nurturing process as an example. So in order to, order to do so, you just need to press lead nurturing process. And as you can see here, we have our blueprint. Now, blueprints, as an overview, are an exceedingly useful tool to allow us to dictate to users the path that they must follow when dealing with leads, contacts, deals, and we can apply blueprints to a variety of different modules inside of our Zoho CRM system. So as you can see here, the blueprint starts with nothing, and this is called a state. Now the states are states in, in which a uh, record on that module will be in, and then in between the states, we have got transitions. So this is the transitioning period, and these are buttons inside of the um, inside of the blueprint that they'll see on that particular record that they can then press. And as you can see on our state, we've got set set maximum number of days in which a record can be in this particular state. And then in order to to move on from that state, you then have these buttons which have uh, which are essentially transitions. And you have the before, the during. So when you press that button, what happens? What comes up? And then after the notifications task, field updates, webhooks, customizations, and tags that also occur once that uh, transition has been pressed. So we can modify these accordingly. So if we want, if we are in the record, which I'll show you in a moment's time, and we press the gather details button, it's going to ask us to take certain information. So it's going to require email, phone, and city from our lead record and then we can move on to the next state and then after we've pressed that gather details button we can then assign email notifications tasks etc so as you can see here we have the none and then we gather details and then the blueprint is asking the user to get in contact so they go through the uh, the, the behavior of contacting and attempting to contact this particular lead and then once they've established contact, uh, they are then in this contacted state. And this is where they can either determine by pressing the transition buttons, whether it's a bad lead, start engagement with a good lead or not interested. And we have all these different buttons. So this is our example blueprint and feel free to have an extensive play around and um, essentially make a blueprint that bases your entire sales process around what your business is doing and then apply that to the blueprint inside of the Zoho CRM system. So I'm going to click out of this by pressing cancel, but you can press the republish button. And then I'm just going to change the status of this particular process to on and then head to our leads with our leads module, which is the uh, module this blueprint applies to. Now I'm going to create a lead very quickly. Um, bear with me one moment. And then I'm just going to fill it with that information and last name as well. And then press the save button. So I've created a new lead. And as you can see here, our transitions for our blueprint have now arrived. So we firstly need to gather details. And that's going to ask us for the email, phone and city that I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to put info at CRM crew. Uh, 01494256996 and Beaconsfield as our relevant information. Press the save button. And now we've moved from that transition to the next state, which is not contacted. We then need to establish contact, which either we've established contact or there's been no answer. So I'm going to say we've established contact and then take some notes. And this is where we are asking the user to on the phone be filling out the information. So number of employees, their annual revenue, their industry, and they're also able to take any other relevant notes accordingly. So I'll just fill out this information, 10 annual revenue of that much in Dreamworld. And then we go government and military, for example. I'll press the save button. 
And then we've gone from the current state contacted to our next set of options, which is transitions, not interested, start engagement and bad lead. So let's say we start engagement. We then give some additional notes. I'll call this test. And then we can just press the save button. And this is now a pre-qualified lead inside of our Zoho CRM system. So you can see how exceedingly useful blueprints are, asking details that the user must collect from potential leads and running them through the step-by-step -step process. Now this can happen over a duration of time, but as you can clearly see, this is very beneficial. And that is a quick overview of how to use blueprints inside of your Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use the blueprint in Zoho CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.